So, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do on this problem is they're asking us to factor a polynomial, all right? And when we're looking into factoring, remember, if you guys remember the definition of factoring, definition of factoring is to, you know, when we took a number, that was to write it as a product of numbers. So if I said factor the number 12, do you guys remember like your factor tree, right? You guys could say you could do 4 times 3, and then you broke that down into 2 times 2 times 3. That was factoring. It was called the factoring tree because it kind of looks like a tree. And what were we really doing? We were taking our number 12, and we are writing it as a product of numbers. These are what we call factors because when you multiply them, you get back 12, right? So that's when I say factor a polynomial, that's what I want you to do. I want you to rewrite this as a multiplication problem. All right, and the reason why we want to use it as a multiplication problem is because when we got to solving, which we'll do an example of later, when we get to solving, we want to use the zero product property. And that's why we want to write this as a product. So we need to write this as a multiplication problem of its factors. So we need to determine what are the factors. And there's a little way to help us determine the factors. And the first thing, the way that I like to do it, is use a marker that works. And I like to use the little x with the a times c and b on the bottom. Now remember, this is a quadratic. All quadratics can be rewritten in this form. Even if you don't have an a and a b, you can put a 0 in for them. But all quadratics can be written in this form when you have an x squared. Right, Brooke? So you have x squared. You can always write in. The only thing is a cannot be 0. So to figure out what the factors are, I do a times c. 2 times negative 5, which is negative 10. My b is negative 3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not really going to like factor negative 10, but I'm just going to list all the factors of negative 10. That's a positive one. Because all of these numbers multiply to give us 10, correct? Or to give us negative 10. So these are factors of negative 10, right? One has to be positive, one has to be negative to, for it to be a negative 10. So then I look at all my factors. Out of these factors, which one of them add up to give me negative 3? And the only possible solution is negative 5, positive 2. All right? So you think, oh, we got our two factors, right? Almost. You can't say that x minus 5 times x plus 2 is a product of the two factors. Because remember that your factors multiply to give you your number. So when I multiply these out by using FOIL, am I going to get this answer? No. x times x does not give us 2x squared. Negative 5 times 2 does not give us negative 5, right? So these are not the factors. So what do we do? Well, we have to go a couple other steps. So it's going to get a little hectic, but what I want you guys to do is with these two factors, we're going to rewrite them as negative 2x squared. I'm going to rewrite my middle term as negative 5x plus 2x minus 5. So what I did was I rewrote the equation with these two numbers that I determined is in, in, um, in substitution of my middle term. Now the reason why I do that is because remember it's, al it's always about like factor. Remember when we factor like from the beginning, um, first thing you always want to look to factor out the GCF, which I didn't stop and talk to you about, but since these all don't share a number, now we want to look into what two numbers do they, sh do they all share a number again? No. But can we now, since we have four terms, can I now break it up into these terms and these terms? Now is there something that these two terms share? Is there anything they share? How about an x, right? So you could pull out an x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out an x, so I'll be left with 2x minus 5. Then here, is there anything I can factor out? No. So I'm just going to leave that as plus a 2x minus 5. Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, terms all right, are when you have variables or numbers multiplied by each other um, or divided. So what I have is I have two terms. All right? Terms are separated by addition and subtraction. So out of these two terms, is there something that they have in common? Yeah, the 2x minus 5. So what we're going to do is now we're going to factor that out. So when I factor out a 2x minus 5, 
I'm left with an x, x, and then what happens? If I factor this out, what's still there? A 1. Put it this way. What can you factor out of this? What do these two share? 3. So you factor out a 3, it's x plus 1. Where did the 1 come from? Well, remember, do destroy your property back again. 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times 1 is 3. So we have to have a 1 as our placeholder there. Does that make sense? So since, yes, there's nothing there, but when we're, there's no number in front. But that really, their number in front is a 1. So when you factor it out, you're left with that 1. So now, now I have my polynomial written as a product of the two factors. You guys see that? And we'll work on that further once we get into solving. But you guys can see right now, now it's a product of its two factors. So these are the two factors of that polynomial. Cool? Amazing. All right.